Since early voting started, the line here at the city county building has pretty much wrapped around the corner, but that won't stop a local motorcycle club's early voting campaign. I'm following you. All right. Motorcyclist Lisa McMillan is casting an open invitation to Marion County voters. <laughs> She's a longtime member of 317 Riders. They have organized an October 17th early voter ride-in. They're used to good turnouts for their motorcycle club events, so now they hope to draw an even bigger crowd. We're going to meet up at Lafayette Square, all join up together there, and ride down here to the city county building to actually cast our votes early. Community involvement is nothing new for 317 riders. These are photos from their participation in the Circle City Classic Parade. Their members have also been huge supporters of local students through partnerships with schools and teachers. Motorcyclist Austin Coakley hopes for a good turnout, especially remembering his very first time voting as a student. When I first voted, I was in high school, I just turned 18. And uh, felt like I was important, like what I, what I wanted to say mattered to other people. 317 Riders Vice President Avery Oliver told us social distancing will be important during the ride-in event, too. We will strictly tell them to distance, have your mask on, be ready to ride, and don't, don't get up in big, large groups. Oliver anticipates long lines like this one during their ride-in. It's something early voters like Tara Moore didn't let turn her away and came out of the city county building cheering about getting her vote in early. Coming downtown is never as um, hard as people think it might be, so I work downtown. Make the vote count. And we can all encourage, just like we are doing and everyone else, to get a group of people and everybody in the community to come together so we can get this voting done. People standing in line tell us they've waited anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. So 317 will tell their participants to also bring their patience.